Good morning and welcome to the morning prayer for May 31st. We celebrate today the visitation. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O glorious Lady, throned in rest, amidst the starry host above, who offered nurture from your breast to God with pure maternal love. What we had lost through sinful Eve, the blossom sprung from you restores, and granting bliss to souls that grieve, unbars the everlasting doors. O gate through which hath passed the King, O hall whence light shone through the gloom, the ransomed nations praise and sing, life given from the virgin womb. All loud and honor be addressed, O Jesus, virgin born to you. To Father and the Spirit blessed, be praised forever as is due. Amen. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town of Judah. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory, for your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a town of Judah. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant in her womb leaped for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Night and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. The spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, 
The infant in her womb leaped for joy, and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believed that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker, let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Mary, because you believe that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, and there is no other. My people shall never more be put to shame. Then afterward I will pour out my Spirit upon all mankind. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him his loved one from the beginning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to, him, to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to, to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of, the, of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, Eliza when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, she cried out and said, Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. So, Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord, help us imitate Mary, your mother, who shows the best part. May we seek the food that will sustain us forever. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Savior of the world, by your redeeming might, you preserved your mother beforehand from all stain of sin. Keep watch over us, lest we sin. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You are our Redeemer, who made the Immaculate Virgin Mary your purest home and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Make us temples of your Spirit forever. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you all for praying with me this morning. I hope you'll have a great day. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.